Hello Capricorn, Sun and Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. This card came out really, really quickly, okay? It's actually kind of giving me like the Knight of Swords vibes. Uh, so keep in mind that there could very well be somebody new coming into your life out of the blue. Maybe right now, Capricorn, you're not really focused on love. You could very well be focusing more so on your career, um, you know, things of that nature. But I do kind of feel like something's going to come in uh, and you don't necessarily see all of this coming. OK, I am kind of getting that, um, especially with keep an open mind as well as worth waiting for. I actually like this card because I kind of feel like a lot of you may have been in this overall energy of really focusing on yourself because it does kind of remind me of the Four of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. Um, a lot of you could have been, you know, spending this time really focusing more so on yourself, your material world, your career, your overall growth and expansion. Uh, and you could very well be putting love on the back burner for right now. Um, but I feel like it kind of stems from a place of you knowing what it is that you essentially want and refusing to settle for just whatever, right? Um, which is a really good energy, honestly, to uh, come in with for your reading for today. But Let's focus on you first, Capricorn, and then we'll jump over to your person. Uh, still keep in mind, you might find yourself connecting more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me, and sometimes that happens, so just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Capricorn currently view this relationship? Yeah, so th there's something that's that's coming at you pretty quickly. It is kind of catching you off guard just a little bit, and I do feel like it has a lot to do with whoever this emperor is to you um it does kind of feel like it could even be like a fairly new person that's entering your life this person might even be a little bit older than you on top of that um they could even be an aries or a fire sign so we got aries out here we also have leo and then we have sagittarius with the nine of wands um out here but to be completely honest i just kind of feel like this is your overall energy and let's get into that really quickly before we jump over to this person with the seven of swords to the three of pentacles to the ten of swords that's that overall energy that i was kind of picking up on for you capricorn that you have been kind of putting love on the back burner and that could have a lot to do with your past maybe for a lot of you you feel like you're not entirely ready to kind of put yourself out there and start building towards meaningful connections with people but it just kind of looks like all in all you have been avoiding you know coming together with people building towards romantic you know relationships with people and like i said it could have a lot to do you know with your past i mean it could right but it just kind of looks like you have been kind of keeping to yourself possibly even for quite some time so with this emperor entering your life it is going to come in out of the blue um i don't necessarily feel like you're going to see all of this coming especially because i don't feel like a lot of you are really prioritizing love right now i really don't um but let's let's focus on this person i also kind of feel like when this person does enter your life if they haven't already you're going to feel extremely unsure about this person. And again, that could have a lot to do with like, you know, your past. But we have the two of cups that wanted to come out. And then we also have the five of pentacles that wanted to come out. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have justice. Okay. With the five of pentacles to the two of cups to the eight of swords. I feel like I'm kind of describing you know, th this person and, and what they've essentially been through, obviously, prior to you. But let's let's get into your person here. Whoever this emperor is, this is somebody who probably has recently experienced some sort of ending here between them and another person. Keep in mind, this person could also have, like, children, by the way. This person could have very well been, like, once upon a time married, so also kind of keep that in mind. But... I kind of feel like this person actually did learn a lot, though, through, like, this experience that they had with whoever it is that they were once upon a time with. It basically taught this person what it is that they essentially want for themselves and within a relationship and what it is that they don't essentially want for themselves, especially while being in a relationship with someone. So it has taught this person a great deal. That's, that's one thing that I will say. It did teach this person a valuable lesson. I feel like all I'm doing is really describing this emperor um and, and basically like their history to be completely honest i'm not really picking up on like what it is that they want with you or what are their intentions with you i'm not really getting that just yet um how does this person feel uh, here we go. 
We have the devil. Yeah, I just kind of feel like this is going to be one hell of a fucking ride for you, Capricorn. We got the devil for them. We also have the Hierophant for them. And then we have the King of Cups for them. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune with the Empress to the Six of Pentacles to the Ace of Cups. Ooh. I mean, that's not a bad thing. I just kind of feel like yeah. if this is going to be, I'm going to tell you this right now, Capricorn, this is going to be one hell of a ride for you, especially for those of you who have major trust issues. Yeah, this is going to be one hell of a ride for you. Um, let's let's get into it. I kind of feel like somehow, some way, the two of you are going to eventually end up crossing paths with one another. How are you going to meet this person? I have no idea, but you're going to end up meeting this person if you haven't already. And I kind of feel like this person is going to essentially start to look at you like you're the perfect person for them. Um, there's a lot of things that this person is gonna essentially like about you and the way that you are as an individual, okay? And it is gonna kind of prompt this person to wanna have something serious with you, okay? Uh, with the devil to the hair font being out here, that's kind of telling me that there's a little bit of a struggle going on here on someone's end. And if I would have to bet my last dollar on it, I would say that the struggle that this person's going to find themselves having as far as like jumping into a committed relationship with you or even trying to pursue something serious with you has a lot to do with you, to be honest, and your doubts and your reservations, you know, things of that nature. Because there is like a tad bit of like a, how do I say this? There is like a tad bit of a struggle going on here on this person's end where this person might find it. Uh, extremely hard let's say that they might find it extremely hard to get what it is that they essentially want out of you in this relationship that they share with you and all of really that this person wants it is something meaningful is something essentially serious but they're gonna have a little bit of a difficult time that's one thing that I will say they're gonna have a little bit of a difficult time getting their way with you and what I mean by that because I know that kind of sounds a little awful when I say it out loud but what I mean by them getting their way with you is, is very very simple you know all this person really does want is something meaningful in their life somebody that they can essentially grow and evolve with uh, somebody that they view as a true pair to them and again I mean your person is kind of showing up as an emperor and you're showing up as an empress that is a true pair situation that's also kind of telling me that when you do cross paths with this person if you haven't already Capricorn you're going to instantly hit it off with this person that's kind of besides the point because I see that happening but you're still going to be on the fence about all of this. That's that's one thing that I will say. That's definitely one thing that I will say. I want to kind of look a little bit more into this devil really quickly. Tell me more about the devil. We have the hermit. We have the five of cups. And then we also have the three of wands. The bottom of the deck, bam. We got the high priestess with the eight of cups. Yeah, I'm not shocked. With the Nine of Pentacles. True pair situation, again, between you and this person. Uh, we have the High Priestess and the Hierophant out here. That is a true pair situation, again, between you and this person. A very strong and intense connection. That, that, that's one thing that I will say, but like I said, and there's that double confirmation that this person, when it comes down to like obtaining what it is that they want with you, which is basically like a serious committed relationship, they're going to really find themselves struggling in that department. And it does kind of have a lot to do with you, Capricorn, and your past and, you you know, you being on the fence about all of this. All right, I'm going to be honest. It's kind of where the struggle is honestly coming from. I kind of feel like this person knows to a certain extent, whether it's because you've told them this or they can just kind of pick up on it intuitively speaking. They, they kind of know that... You know, you essentially allow things of the past, your own doubts, your own reservations, your own worries, your own insecurities to really stand in the way of this relationship, all right, between you and them. I feel like they kind of know that. And it doesn't, you don't even have to like outright just tell this person that that's why, you know, you, you don't have to basically outright tell this person why you're so scared, you know, as far as like taking that leap of faith you know, with this person is concerned because I kind of feel like they know whether it's because you've told them all of this um, as far as your past is concerned and why you are the way that you are or if it's just because it's, it's them picking up on it intuitively speaking, right? But yeah, the, the, the struggle is going to be real because I feel like it's interesting. It's so interesting because even though you guys are showing up as a true pair two times, that's kind of telling me that 
between you and I, you want this as much as they do. The only difference is, is that this person's willing to give in to this whole entire situation, no matter how this shit plays out. You not so much. You not so much. Um, there is like an also, there, there's also like an overall energy Capricorn coming from you as far as like you not allowing yourself to become too emotionally invested uh, or even attached to this person. I kind of feel like this person's going to end up really falling for you, Capricorn. And I don't blame them. You are showing up as an empress, you know, em an empress. It's just like an emperor is very fucking hard to find nowadays, right? But I just kind of feel like this person's going to end up really falling for you and, and really attaching themselves to like what it is that they want with you so much to the point where they're going to find themselves extremely determined to make this happen between you and them. But yeah, I am kind of getting that. It's like there's like a refusal coming from you as far as like allowing yourself to like fully become emotionally invested into this person um, or even like attach yourself honestly uh, to this person. You're avoiding that sense of attachment, in other words, to this person. It, do, it doesn't matter, dude. Like this person could have everything that you're looking for, but because a lot of you might have your trust issues, you don't fully trust the situation entirely to emotionally invest into this person how does Capricorn feel we have the five of pentacles we also have the fool and then we also have the um, ace of swords there is like an overall energy and again despite how you may view this person despite how you might feel about this person despite the chemistry and all of that wonderful stuff there's just kind of like an overall energy coming from you where you feel a lot more safe and secure without, how do I say this? Without finding yourself attached to a person. Remember, we were already kind of getting that from you. You know, you're not attaching yourself to this person. You're not emotionally invested um, into this whole entire situation here between you and this person, mainly because you refuse to allow yourself to basically kind of go there with this person out of fear that you know what if it doesn't work out you know what if I get hurt things of that nature but I am kind of getting that you know a lot of you feel a lot more secure um and just overall better not being attached to a person because in it's a true statement man like when you find yourself attached to something or someone suffering kind of comes along with it because that's where suffering basically comes from attachment right you're not gonna fucking you know get hurt or get disappointed by someone or something that you're not even attached to you know what i mean um and, and maybe that's just kind of like your way of thinking but your person's attached that's kind of like besides the point here i mean we got we got the devil out here um and then we also have the king of cups that does kind of insinuate somebody who's very much so attached um, to you and very much so invested, especially emotionally speaking. Um, so then there's that. So then there's that. Let's keep going. I really want to look at this emperor. Tell me more about the emperor. No, no, I don't. Tell me more about the nine of wands. I just want to kind of like See, look, we have the Queen of Swords to the Nine of Cups to the Seven of Pentacles. This is kind of like um, going a little bit more into depth about like that overall energy that I just essentially um, broke down for you, right? It's like that overall energy of like you not wanting to become, you know, emotionally invested and or attached to absolutely anyone because that comes with suffering and that comes with worry and that comes with your own doubts and reservations about a person. And you much rather live your life focusing more so on yourself versus this person, right? Because now you kind of find yourself worrying. Now you kind of find yourself overthinking things. Now your doubts and your reservations are really starting to come up to the surface for you. And it's causing you to not really want to be a part of this relationship. It's causing you to want to basically sever ties with this person. More of the story. Now I'm not saying you are going to sever ties with this person. We're just going based off of how you feel about this whole entire situation here between you and this person. And how it's affecting you. And basically what it is that they're aiming for when it comes down to you. And your response and your reaction towards it. What actions will Capricorn take towards this person or moving forward? Alright. 
We have the Hermit, we also have the Two of Cups, and then we also have the King of Cups, and then we also have the Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles to the Four of Wands. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. What actions will this person take towards Capricorn or moving forward? We have the Sun, we also have the Nine of Cups, and then we also have the Seven of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Two of Wands, wow, with the King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles to the world. Capricorn, you guys are showing up as a true pair again. <laughs> like, that's kind of insane to me. Um, but let's 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 break this person down first, and then we'll jump over to you. When it comes down to how this person plans on moving forward, your, your person to me comes off as somebody who's very simple, right? Which, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, th this person just wants something serious. And they're kind of looking at you like you're the perfect person that they could have something serious with. Despite the fact that, granted, they're going to have a very difficult time when it comes down to obtaining what it is that they want with you, which is a serious, committed relationship due to, like, your past experiences, your fears, your doubts, your reservations, all of that wonderful stuff. Well, it's not wonderful, but you know what I mean, right? They're very determined, like I said. They're very determined to fight for what it is that they want. And if it's one thing that I will say is that they do want a future with you, especially because this person, again, is kind of looking at you like you're the perfect person for them. Not only that, but you make this person very, very happy. You really do. You make this person very happy. And with the two of wands being out here, this person has already chosen the path that they essentially want to walk. And the path that they essentially want to walk is a path with you. Like they're ready to start a whole new chapter with you. They're ready to start a life with you. They're ready to kind of get this ball rolling here um, between you and them. They've already kind of chosen the path that they basically kind of want to walk, okay? Um, and, and you're going to see that. That's kind of besides the point. You will see all of this uh, for yourself. But with the King of Cups to the Two of Cups to the Hermit being out here... And then you got the Queen of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles to the Four of Wands being out here. I feel like you're basically kind of the hermit in all of this. Like, this is you kind of taking that time to really reflect on this person and what it is that they're basically trying to offer you and what it, what they've been essentially showing you thus far, right? And that's going to put a lot of things into perspective um, for you, Capricorn. Not only is this something that you've been essentially waiting for and preparing yourself for, but it, it's finally here. You know what I mean? It is finally here. And is this going to be one hell of a ride for you? Yes, it is. But these are things that you can kind of overcome. Because I kind of feel like your involvement with this person, it's going to teach you a lot about this person. It's going to cause you to kind of realize, okay, not everybody is the same. That's one thing that you will definitely learn through this whole entire experience between you and this person. But not only that, it's also going to cause you to essentially realize that this is basically where you want to be. This is something that you've been essentially waiting for for quite some time to essentially enter your life. And now that it's finally here, it's time that you kind of overcome your own fears, your own doubts, your own reservations, and then just basically embrace what it is that you could have with this person. Because this relationship is not going to grow and evolve until you allow it to grow and evolve here between you and them. Because they can continue to like try to show you time and time again that they're serious about you and all these wonderful things. But until you officially let go and give in, there's not going to be any sort of growth and or expansion. And and the way that you're you're kind of like... Another thing, too, your, your train of thought has to kind of change, too, Capricorn. You can't have that same train of thought that you currently have right now and then jump into a relationship with this person because your train of thought right now is, well, I'm not going to attach myself to this person. I'm not going to get emotionally invested. You know, I'm not going to do all of these things. But you can't really do that, man. You know, you just can't. That makes no sense. You know, especially when we're talking about like a romantic relationship here. You know, romantic relationships do require you to become attached and become emotionally invested. And right now you're just like, nope, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But eventually at some point you're going to have to give in if this is something that you want. And from the looks of it, Queen of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles to the Four of Wands, that's kind of telling me that this person has a lot that you're essentially looking for within a person. They showed up as a true pair to you, like, how many fucking times? Like, what, 
two times, I think. I think it was like two times. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like this person's here for a reason. I feel like this is something that you've been essentially waiting for to enter your life. And now that it's finally here, you might as well just embrace it. And I don't feel like you would regret it because you're not dealing with you're not dealing with somebody who doesn't know what the fuck they want. You know what I mean? It would be different if you were dealing with somebody who didn't know what they want. Then I would be like, all right, well, wait a minute, because they're a little bit indecisive about you. But they don't come off to me as somebody who's indecisive about you and what it is that they want with you. They've already chosen the path that they essentially want to walk. And the path that they want to essentially walk requires you to kind of be there by this person's side. Okay? Any advice for Capricorn in regards to this spread? All right, let's do this. We have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I actually like that you're getting this card because release your ex for me as a reader, it represents the Eight of Swords in Tarot. So the Eight of Swords basically represents, you know, somebody who finds themselves in that self-imprisonment mode. It also represents somebody who's like currently overthinking things. And maybe you might experience that, you know, if you haven't, for those of you who haven't met this person just yet, you might find yourself overthinking things when it comes down to this person. You might even find yourself thinking the worst when it comes down down to this person and Gemini had this same similar uh, advice it's basically telling you to let go of your doubts let go of your reservations let go of this theory that you may have created in your mind about this person and honestly get to know this person for who they truly are and what it is that they're trying to offer you just kind of put how you're looking at this person that negative perspective that you have on this person to the side and just get to know this person and what it is that they're trying to essentially offer you slash bring to the table and it's also telling you to give this person a chance um so then there's that but i feel like once you do take that leap of faith and you do give in a lot of healing is going to take place because a lot of healing needs to kind of take place on your end you're going to find a lot you're, you're going to find that not only are you going to grow and evolve through this whole entire experience, but a lot of healing is also going to kind of take place on your end as well while being with this person in particular, especially with this could be the one in soulmate. Again, I feel like you've been waiting for this. Like you've been waiting for this moment and it, it's, it's finally here. You might as well just learn to just embrace it and go off and just simply be happy you know what i mean because you've been waiting i feel like a lot of you have been waiting for someone like this to enter your life and now that they're finally here this is not the moment to sit there and question absolutely everything this is the moment where you start to focus on your overall healing let go of your own doubts and your own reservations and then reach that point of eventually just simply giving in to this person and simply giving in to this connection and what it is that they're trying to offer you, all right? So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Hopefully this reading helped. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram username is Milagros Tarot. No numbers, no underscores, no backup accounts. Just Milagros Tarot. It's also linked in the description box down below. But again, hopefully this reading helped, and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye.